Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here thank you for joining me for today's video today's video is going to be a poundland haul not just any poundland haul for two reasons the first reason is it's going to be five of the best stocking fillers that i could find or the things that i thought were very affordable that would make good stocking fillers that you might not necessarily think of but i think they make great stocking fillers and the second reason is because i am collaborating with a bunch of different ladies who are also on youtube and they also have very similar channels to mine like lifestyle affordable shopping trips you know like b&m hauls cherries hauls christmas decor all of those sorts of things that i love to film these ladies also film and we're all doing the same video so we'll be uploading this exactly the same time so they would have uploaded now as well and watch mine first though and then head over to watch theirs because they will also show you their top five stocking fillers from Poundland. I will leave all of their YouTube accounts linked down below so you can go and watch their videos after this video and then you pretty much see everything that's in Poundland then. I'm hoping we don't all pick up the same thing. It'll be really interesting to see. The YouTubers that I'm collaborating with are Christine Fleming, Maxine Georgina, who I have collaborated with before and I absolutely love her channel, and Claire from Polly Put The Petal On. She also does very similar videos to mine we all do kind of the same videos but you know all in our own way and then joanne wright and then also make with millie um i will leave them all linked down below so you can check them all out for yourselves and i really hope you enjoy watching some festive videos today but first up let me show you what i found from poundland so the first stocking filler that i picked up is this beautiful set from dove this is the more expensive Poundland item. The rest of the things I've got are a little bit more affordable. I've got something from lots of different sections so I can show you some more affordable options and a few more expensive options. This is more expensive. This was £7.50, but it still has a retail value of £15. So it is half price if you were to buy these things from Dove. This is a gradual self tan gift collection and it has in it a body wash, which this is the coconut one, coconut and something plum i've had this one before and it just smells so good um it also has in it the summer revive body mousse gradual tanner which i've never tried i already use their moisturizing gradual tanner and i love it which is also in here and there's also a mitt as well but yeah the mousse i was like wow i'm really excited about that i'm going to carefully open this up although i feel like this is gonna be a present for myself i don't know but i wanted to show you what was in it so we have a little bit of tissue paper in there. Oh, it's quite a tiny little body wash. It's actually really cute though, but this is a very small body wash. Normally when I buy the Dove body wash, I buy the huge ones. Dove is my absolute favorite body wash. This is jasmine and coconut milk. This one smells so good. So that comes with it. So you can obviously get prepared before your tan. Then we have the tanning mousse, which is the thing that I'm most excited to try. I love the idea of um, a mousse. I wonder if it'd be easier to like soak in than the moisturizer. It is in fair to medium shade. I couldn't see any other shades in there. For a natural looking, sun-kissed glow, nourishing, streak-free and fast drying. And it also says it has 48 hour moisturization as well, which is good. And then also with this, you do get the body moisturizer as well, which is another gradual tanning item. This one gives you 72 hours of moisturization. Um, and then here is the mitt, which I was very interested to see what it was like. It's a bit of a strange color. It's like quite a good color on this side. Like this is perfect for fake tan because if you use a white mitt, this is exactly what it turns out looking like. But then on this side, we have the blue side, but it does feel very, very soft and luxurious. So that was my first stocking filler from a little bit more of an expensive stocking filler. They had loads more gift sets like these as well. So if you don't like fake tan, they did also have basically a very similar gift set, but it was just body moisturizers and body washes and stuff. Okay, so next up, they had this whole new range in, which was the first time I've seen it. It was a beautiful range and I love the decor of it. This is actually the Winterberry Soap Bar, but they also had bath salt, bath oil, bath so uh, you know, bath foam. Um, what else did they have? They had the soap, they have bath bombs. They had loads of things in this beautiful range. The packaging is lovely. I just love how it's like tied up with this little rope. Um, this is the soap. And it also comes on this little sleigh. Like how cute is this? I absolutely love it. I think this is a perfect stocking filler. It's a little bit more affordable compared to the last one. This one was only £2.50. So that is my next 
stocking filler. Okay, next up is also from the Beauty Range. I've kind of got three things from the Beauty Range. The next two things aren't. Um, but this is a new thing in as well, which I've never seen. And I was very excited to see this. This is a self-heating eye mask. It's lavender fragranced. And it's from the Fern McCann range. It's enriched with lavender oil to help enhance your well-being. It's a two-pack as well. And basically, you just open up these eye pads, like eye patch things, you know, and it hooks over your ears. But as soon as you open them up and put them on your face, they heat up and they last for about 20 minutes, apparently. So you just lay there, relax with your eye mask on. And as soon as it cools down, then you take it off. But I thought what a cool thing to pop into a stocking filler, especially like this time of year. It's just nice to get all cozy and use this eye mask, especially if you've been having a few too many drinks over the festive period. Then you can um, have a nice spa evening to yourself and yeah, a little bit of self-care. And this was two pounds, but uh, like I said, you do get two in a pack, so they are a pound each. Okay, next up, this is the thing that I saw first and I absolutely loved it. It is a calendar. I feel like calendars are just the perfect Christmas stocking filler gift because everybody needs a calendar for the next year. So I thought this was a great idea to pop this in there. And this calendar looks so cool. They had lots of other calendars to choose from, but I just really like this one. It's kind of like a night, I think it's sort of like a 1950s theme and it's kind of like a bit of a funny one. This is what the first page looks like uh, and it says with a huge dollop of double cream and some chocolate sauce her salad seemed almost edible so they have like jokes you know in the 1950s themed lady on there um, and then you have this space here for obviously your appointments and stuff oh let's read the next one when it came to arguing they always compromised he'd admit he'd been wrong and she'd agree with him <laughs> that is good I'm going to use that one that is so true um, but yeah, I just thought this was um, a really lovely stocking filler and it's just nice, like they are funny, aren't they? Armed with just a few credit cards, she had gone shopping and almost single-handedly saved the economy. That literally sounds like me when I go to Home Bargains or Poundland. But yeah, there's lots more in there and the perfect little stocking filler. Also very affordable too. This one was only £2. Okay, next up, I had to get a little bit of food in there um, because what is a stocking filler without treats? So the next thing that I picked up is this Oreo Festive Favourites gift selection pack thing. Is that what you call them? What are these called? They are called selection. Selection box, that's what they're called. Um, so you get two original Oreo cookies, you get two white chocolate ones, you get two golden ones, and then you get one like milk chocolate cupboard one. Um, I actually, I don't know if this is going to be unpopular or not, but I actually don't like Oreos. I would never choose to eat an Oreo. Obviously, I've tried them. I don't like them and when I see people dunking them in fresh milk that just is to me that's gross like oh dipping I don't mind dipping like a rich tea in a cup of hot tea but dipping a biscuit in cold milk and then eating it no that's that is not what I'm about so I don't really like Oreos but I did think this was quite a cool selection pack and I've not seen this before so I wanted to pick it up I'll probably pop this in Ollie's stocking because he does love Oreos and I don't think he's ever tried like any of these other ones either how much and this Oreo selection box was two pounds, which I think is pretty reasonable. So yeah, that is everything that I've got to go in my stocking. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I found in Poundland for very affordable stocking fillers. They had loads more stuff in there. I actually went to Home Bargains after Poundland thinking I could find more stocking fillers, but Home Bargains was like just nowhere near as good as Poundland. I would definitely recommend Poundland above home bargains for stocking fillers at the moment. So now you've finished watching my video, make sure you go and watch the other ladies' videos. I really hope you enjoy seeing what they picked up. I'm going to go ahead and go and watch their videos as well because I'm interested to see if anybody got the same things as me and if what other things they picked up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!